So Outriders is out very soon indeed, or by the time you watch this video, it's probably already out. If you played the demo, you will know you don't actually get access to weapon and armor crafting capabilities. In the full game you do, but you just do not start with them. Today I showcase exactly when this happens and what can be done also. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So Outriders has not long been released and well it's an incredible game for sure. If you played the demo I'm pretty sure you are hyped about getting into the game. Now when you start if you complete the demo you will be at a point where you need to speak to Jacob to leave the camp to head to the first city. If you are playing the game from a fresh, you will eventually get to this point of leaving the uh, rift camp to head to the first city. But within the rift camp where you are within the demo, within the full game you will have access to your stash and you will also be able to change your appearance, you will just not be able to craft. That comes later on. So here you want to talk to Jacob and leave for the first city. So once you get here guys you will notice your very next main quest mission is called Dedication. Here you have to search the city for Sahida, Dr. Sahida. This guy is the key to crafting. So this mission, well, in a party, wasn't a walk in the park. As you know, enemies scale, so it was a fun challenge. But coming to the end of this uh, dedication mission, you then progress to the next step called Salvation. Where here you need to reach the other side of the river and step one of this mission. Again, plenty of looting and shooting here to do people. And towards the end of the salvation mission you move on to step 2 where you get across that water and you have to retrieve Sahida's briefcase. So let's run the mission guys and get it done, it's nothing complicated at all, Just it's just like a point A to B to C to D, simple as that. Now when you are done here guys you then head back to that last C camp and you'll be indicated to speak to Jacob to leave for Eagle's Peaks. There are side missions to do here guys so you may just want to get them out of the way first or you can come back at a later time whenever you want if you want to do it that way. But you will here also have a chance to check out the new vendor within your allies, Dr. Sahida, the guy we just rescued. This is the dude where we get to do that crafting guys, where we get to craft and level up weapons and armor. Now within the crafting menu I'm going to give you a brief description of it, we can change mods, upgrade, change rarities and much much more guys. Now I do have a video right now working on explaining everything you need to know about crafting as there are a few things I need to experiment with. But it is pretty simple from here guys and once you find and rescue Sahida he will then as you progress through the game, progress with you, be a part of your crew, you can visit him anytime and craft that juicy loot, both weapons and armour. So yes, newcomers to the game, wondering where you unlock crafting, this is it. Relatively straightforward, but I know a lot of people will be confused going into the game wondering where crafting is, but this is how you unlock it. So yes, I hope the video helps you out, stay tuned for my in-depth guide on crafting as it's coming pretty soon. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, PayPal, I will see you on that next one.